I can't let this nigga slide. I tried, y'all. I tried so hard. I tried so hard to be a better person. I was out here reading Vinland. I have no enemies. But I just can't let Jaden Smith go. This man, Jaden Smith, just pisses me off that much. So I got to get back on here, starting exactly where we left off. So bro's out here in the cafeteria. He's trying to hit some moves on this little Asian shorty. And I'm out here like, hold on. Why is Concrete Smith moving like me right now? My boy out here applying pressure like crazy, risen her up. She out here calling him funny like, okay. Cement Smith, you cannot box to save your life, but what you can do is Riz. I'm about to give you a little clap for that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really about to post these two on my IG story and be like, me and who? That's about to be me with my Valorant Ethot. You just gotta wait on it, guys. Trust. It's coming soon, I promise. But nah, it's 30 seconds into a scene and Jaden Smith hasn't taken an L? Something clearly ain't right. And I'm pretty sure even Chang felt that there was a disturbance in the force. Because the moment his shorty walked away, Chang instantly his mission and slams his food all over his new fit. Unprovoked menace behavior. This man just eats chalk. And these guys are really about to box until the teacher done pulled up. Now, nah, this teacher, we gonna have to get to her. Because I'm looking at her, I'm giving her the biggest side eye right now. She hiding stuff that we do not know about. They gotta go their separate ways and the next day starts. And Cement Smith is yet again applying pressure. It's crazy how this man holds the biggest L counter in the entire universe, but he still has more riz than some of y'all. Please get your notebooks out and take some notes. This man is cooking. I really gotta respect a brother for shooting, but I'm not gonna lie. But even this man's riz is horrible. Close your notebooks. She says she's trying out for the Beijing Art and Music School, and he has the audacity to drop this right here. Their initials spell BAM! Nigga, what? I don't know what two brain cells in his head made him cook this and then had bro thinking, like, oh yeah, this the one right here. She ain't give not a laugh, not a smile, not a chuckle. She was just distraught. This is the pure definition of harassment. Someone locked this nigga up. But after this absolute horrible demonstration of quote unquote Riz, this man walks outside and he sees Chang and his two shooters. Oh my God. The L's just keep piling up. I don't know how he survives this. Chang over here copying the girl talking about some, can I touch your hair? At this point, I would have been like, <laughs> like man, devious acts like this. I know Chris Rock was directing every single move this man did. And he was definitely rewatching it, deep faking Will Smith's face on top of Jay having the time of his life you're a fraud but they out here kicking his bag throwing it in the air dumping everything out of it and then Chang rolls up on him and says don't ever show yourself near us again like he wasn't the one who came to him first this is crazy someone put the bat signal up please the demon child is running amok if I was in this position I would have been pissing myself now someone in the comments of my last video accused me of glazing Chang a little too much and it's like have we seen the same movie? Because if you look at this man, it's very hard not to glaze him. In the direct next scene, Jaden decides to go to the dojo because, you know, he needs to learn some moves. This man is getting cooked by everything. He needs some self-defense. So he goes to the dojo and look at who he sees. Oh, nah. Bro hit the most nefarious smile, too. He wanted to make sure he appeared in his nightmares. And this scene right here is absolutely insane. The moment they start their drill, look at how Chang turns at this nigga. This nigga gets kicks out of this. Oh my God. I don't care how good Jaden's mom's job is. She does not get paid enough for Jaden to go through this amount of torment. Send him back to Detroit, please. And then next up, we got the field trip. Jaden, once again, applying pressure. I'm telling you, my brother was straight cooking. He was a chef. This man out here applying more pressure on a female than seniors. Them freshman forensic ass niggas. The moment they hear she in the ninth, they be talking about some, where my hug at? In jail. But he was not safe. Chang was out here plotting the moment he started Risen, staring at bro like how Akaza was getting stared at in Demon Slayer. And then once they on the bus, this man tries to bother Jaden again. And this is the part that I'm talking about. Look at the teacher. I'm over here talking about Chang. She's the real threat of the movie. Her chakra must run mad deep. If just your eyes is getting this crayon eating demon shook, you know she got something cooking. And once again, man, look at Concrete hitting Riz. She invited bro over to the festival and everything. And look at this cute little eye contact they got going on. Oh, 
Concrete, that's you? Oh, nah, I didn't know, bro. Had it like this. What? That's crazy. What do these 12 year olds even do, bro? Kiss under the slide or something? Back in my prime, I was the shorty slide slayer. I don't know if this man got it like me, but I'ma let you cook, little bro. You ate you just this one thing, one. just that this one. Thing. And after this, I already got to this scene where Concrete Smith makes the literal worst plan I've done ever seen within a film. I can't even call this a lick back or a revenge because this was absolutely horrible. I do not get the intention of what he was trying to do. All he wanted to do was get this nigga wet? Huh? This what man dude? gave you a black eye. You pulled up to your first day of school with foundation on, my boy. Pissing his cereal or something. What are you doing? You see why I couldn't let him slide? I can't even sit here and talk about the movie without getting pissed off. This thing gets me so bad. I completely forgot about this, but the foundation made me remember. Look at how Jaden Smith comes out the bathroom. I don't know who you trying to stun out for, bro. You're not him. And in all these videos, I be talking about the drip that these characters have. And the reason why I haven't done it in this video is I'm not gonna lie, nobody in this movie fit in. And then once Chang finished his NFL chase down on Jaden Smith, had this nigga kissing concrete for the 50th time in this film, even his boys were getting kind of scared of bro. I'm not gonna lie. One of them was like, all right, bro, you gotta chill out. And then he's like, nah. I ain't finished with this nigga. Speaking like he's him Han himself. This shit is crazy. He about to strike the finishing blow and then here comes the GOAT. Jackie Chan here to give Concrete Smith his first W of the film. He pushes Chang back and Chang had never ran from no smoke. His boys is like, let's jump this nigga. He's like, nah, I got this. He pulls up and he was about to hit this nigga with the cleanest kick. But Chang didn't have his Pokedex on him. He would have known that Jackie Chan's type is jump resistant. He straight grabs his foot and then pushes him down and then it becomes an all out brawl. This man's using straight ultra instinct on these kids. He's not even hitting any of them. He's using themselves to hit each other. Bro threw one of the little niggas in a trash bin like, oh lord, y'all niggas getting smoked. And this is something that I noticed when I was analyzing this fight. And yet again, this movie refuses to sleep on an opportunity to show you that Chang is that nigga. And at this point, yes. I am meat guzzling. But he is the only kid throughout this fight to actually get Jackie Chan on the defensive. Bro looked shocked and had to dodge two of his kicks. He ain't do this for any other strike. I'm telling you in the deleted scenes of Infinity War when Thanos is pulling up with his henchmen, Chang was supposed to be there. I don't even think the Prime Avengers could have handled this kid. I don't even go lie. Especially with Hulk. Sorry, yeah, bro. Try This man twirled the kid around and then spun him like a fruit roll up just so we could backhand the other kid. Oh, Lord. This man was straight cooking in his hole and he does this twice look at this bro i'm crying this nigga is just playing with him and then he's out here fighting all three of them at once this man thinks he's son goku in this hole i don't even know how he did this but he ended up ending the fight through one of this nigga's jackets and then tangled all these niggas up and then threw them all to the floor this shit is absolutely crazy man please watch this scene for yourself if you have not that's crazy. Concrete Smith is not taking an L? I gotta check and make sure I'm watching the right movie because this is kind of strange. But yet again, I spoke too soon. When they was at the festival, my boy even secured the kiss. At his age, that's basically securing the bag, man. And he fumbles. See, I knew he was taking way too many Ws. And knowing this fraud of a main character, he's gonna fumble in the funniest way possible. So he's out here sweet talking to his girl yet again, straight serenading her like, damn, bro. Someone get the thermometer. This man's Asian fever is red hot. Chill out, brody. She ain't going nowhere. And then her parents call her. Talking about some, your performance was moved to today. And since she's with Jaden, she's already late. So her parents end up picking her up and she has to drive all the way to the auditorium. Jaden somehow makes it there right when she's about to perform. And she did what she had to do. And when she finished, this Clark Kent, let me hold the door for for you ad nigga starts standing up and clapping for her and everybody's just staring at him like you don't see everybody else we is not rocking with you gang and this part right here is straight crazy he tries to talk to the white dude in front of him my nigga just leaves man this nigga try and the girl walks up to him and she's like i'm sorry we can't be together no more and i'm not gonna lie i don't even blame shorty right here she a bag chaser just like me and this man cement smith radiates so much l energy she's getting slimed out the bag i would leave that nigga too i promise Promise you. Now, how long is this video? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna end it right here. 
I know normally I would go the extra mile, but I just dropped a 27 minute video on y'all heads. Make sure y'all peep that. But this next video is gonna be straight boxing. We doing the whole tournament and I promise it's gonna be straight heat. And y'all not gonna have to wait a month for it this time. I got one Tom Holland video that's basically done and a Yu Yu Hakusho video that I have slated for this week. So y'all can wait a week and a half for part three, right? Right? It's like you got come in peace. Yeah. Today I won't walk. Try to feel my pain every time I had to strike myself in the store. No, I'm being on lean. Since you left, it's been cold in love. On pretty pink cups everywhere I go. This ain't a dream no more. I won't try my.